Hello and welcome to this MAMP Pro 5 screencast. Today I'm going to be talking about adding a host in an associated database, uh, a database associated with that host. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and create a host, call it host2. I'm going to go in here and uh, make my document, document root, also called host2. And down here you can see new in MAMP 5, you can create a database um, associated with this host. Um, if I press, uh, I'm going to press continue and I can name this host, uh, I'm going to call it my uh, host2db. Okay, so here um, is uh, one, two more fields that are optional. Um, I'm going to ignore them for now. The ho my host db is going to be uh, associated with the root um, user in um, MySQL. So I'm going to create this host and save. and restart my servers. And you'll notice after I've created the host, I have a my host DB uh, associated with host two. If I go to my uh, PHP my admin, I can look, I'll see my host uh, DB is here created. This was created uh, using the root user. So um, no new MySQL user was made when I created this database, and that's perfectly fine. You don't need to create new MySQL users. You can just um, create all your databases under the root user. Okay, so now I'm going to add a, a second host. Uh, we're going to call I'm going to call this host three, and uh, make host three my document root here and create a database, but in this uh, instance, we'll call this myDB3. And um, this is here, I'm gonna create a new MySQL user. I'll call it user3 with the password of user3. And this is gonna create, in addition to the root uh, MySQL user, uh, this database is gonna be uh, under the user3. Um, the benefits or not benefits of that you can you can read in if we're going to create my host um, you can save my uh, settings restart my server uh, you can read this at my mysql.com and uh, in, the, in the reference manual um, to learn about adding users or the benefits of adding users so now if you uh, if I go to my PHP my admin uh, and I will see under my databases, I'll see my DB3 has been added and I look at my user accounts and this is under uh, user three. And uh, of course the view from PHP my admin is from the root user which has viewing rights to all users. So that's why I can see all, uh, all databases from all users when viewing PHP my admin. You can still add uh, databases manually. You can add um, databases through PHP MyAdmin. You can add databases through uh, SQL Pro or MySQL Workbench. Uh, that doesn't matter. What's important though is that you associate the database with the host. So I'm going to make this new host four, uh, for instance, and say I didn't associate a database. I just created the host and I add my files later. Uh, host files and then I wanted to associate a database. I'll, I'll go ahead and show you about that um, Just for simplicity. I'll just create the database here through uh, The map pro interface and we'll call it my uh, DB4 and I will create it Okay, okay, so in here um, in when you create it in map pro it automatically gets associated with the host So host for now it is associated with my DB4 if I had created that in PHP my admin It would not have been associated with any host and I would have to come in here and uh, um, uh, Associate the database with the host and here if I this shows them all of my databases. I'd have to go in here and check it, and then it would be associated with the host. This is important because if you are saving to cloud or uploading for remote uh, sites, you need to have, uh, a, say, a WordPress site that you manually created 
you have to associate the database first with the host in order for the database to get exported and uh, included in the package that gets uploaded to your remote server. The same applies for cloud. If you don't associate a database, the, the database with the host, save the cloud's only going to save the host files and not export the database and include that in the cloud file. A few last notes about databases uh, with Map Pro. Um, you can save, you can associate several databases, of course, um, with uh, with uh, one host. So if I went into P PHP My Admin and I went to databases here and I said new, newer uh, DB, and I created this and I created, uh, uh, to say, a two column, uh, new table and uh, yeah, I'll just give it uh, some some names to my tables and I went in here with newer DB if I went back to map pro and I went to my host 4 to the databases uh, there's newer DB and I could associate that and I'd have two databases associated with um, my uh, with my host and uh, one last note if I went here and I created when creating install WordPress of course if I create if I click install WordPress a database automatically gets created and associated with the host and if I go into extras right here uh, all these hosts at least the ones that are uh, include uh, need databases automatically a database gets created uh, along um, side and is associated with the host. And that's gonna do it for databases in this MAP Pro 5 screencast.